I'm Brian Jordan. I'm a software engineer at Code.org. So I work on Code Studio, which is our uh, interactive online K-12 uh, computer science curriculum. We're focused on making it so that any student anywhere has the opportunity to learn computer science. At Code.org, quality is really important because we're working in classrooms with students and teachers. And for teachers, it's extremely important for uh, the expectation to be there that, you know, you're sitting down with a bunch of students and telling them to do the thing. The thing should work and, you know, that class period should be a successful one. So before we started visual testing at all, someone finds a little thing. It's, Did that text used to be there? Did it used to be a certain color? It's like this general cloudy, you know, fear of, did something change? It's so nice to know, you know, nothing changed. Here's a log of what it used to look like. It's, you can, deploy your code very confident that, you know, nothing's going to be broken when you know that something, you know, went through and looked at each little, each little page and said, okay, you know what, everything's exactly the same. So coming from using Selenium already, it was super simple to just hook in Apple Tools to the, our existing tests. You just kind of set it and forget it. So with the Apple Tools tests, we actually create far fewer of actual tests and steps and code and lines but have a far higher rate of return in terms of bugs that, it, that they find. When things break on our site and you know, someone finds it, the question now is, how did we not have an Apple Tools test covering that?